Hey, good morning guys, it's me, Trisha. I just got an email from someone that said that um, B is coming after me and a lot of stuff that has happened and um, for whatever reason, um, B has chosen to attack me saying that I have defamated her character and what have you. I got an email that was giving me a heads up that they were part of a conversation and that her and Randy are trying to take me down. I just wanted to leave a message and say how absolutely wrong this is, that if this is true, and I'm giving B the chance to answer me back. This is 2018. This is a brand new year. And I have been through enough of the hate, the defamation, being drugged, being lied about, finding out about Diane and the pizza incident, how she's behind everything. She was the one who was behind everything with makeup by Mandy. I'm absolutely destroyed and devastated. I didn't want drama to start off 2018, but this Diane person is behind everything that had to do with these lies that they were um, impersonating me. So I need to know what's going on. Can somebody please fill me in on this Diane person, why she felt the need to impersonate me? send emails to B and Randy and Mandy and all of these people to destroy me. In March of last year, this woman, Diane, messaged me telling me about all of these people and I didn't bite. So she became the person who called CPS. It's so cold out here. Being black pepper, being pink pepper, who is this Diane Patchen person? And why did she send messages to B and Randy saying that she was me? Why did she start this trouble with Mandy? Why did she create an account saying that she was Mandy? Why is she doing all of these things and dragging innocent people in real life? I promise no drama for 2018. Someone please tell me why. Why are these people coming after me? Why can't I be left alone to do my business? Y'all know I have a mental illness. Ever since I've been on Dr. Phil, my life has been a freaking nightmare and I've tried to hide it. I've tried to keep it quiet and I'm struggling with this. The depression is real. The depression, I have nothing. I have absolutely nothing, y'all, that y'all can try to take from me. And I want to know why this Diane Patchen did this. With Is she in cahoots with B and Randy? I don't believe Mandy. Like I said in one of my last videos, Mandy is innocent of all of this. And I want this drama to stop. So could someone please tell me? Someone please message me what's going on? Here's yet another female who said that Diane was making up stuff about her on the internet and posing as other people, you know, and, uh, truthfully, Trisha has come a long way out of it, out of it, and apparently, you know, <laughs> apparently Diane and, uh, Wendy and Randy have come after this female in the same way that Shonda said that Diane came after them. That, yeah. Uh, yeah, truth is, Trisha does admit that she she suffers a mental illness that has to do with depression. But if you look at her channel now, she's come a long way. And I know that she acted quite strangely there uh, in the in the Dr. Phil debacle. The same way that Jasmina acts quite strangely sometimes, too. And uh, it seems that Diane doesn't have any... any uh, empathy when it comes to people that suffer, but uh, truthfully, Trisha seems a little more uh, about her wits. She's nice as she can be, and she has come a long way. She, she, she's a uh, very good looking and uh, adorable woman today. So, you know, this is like the second person that said that Diane put a smear campaign on them uh, on the internet using fake names and fake profiles and things like that. The second, this is the second one. Uh, 
Now, we do, even in this video, truthfully, Trish, you know, she says, I have some mental illness, you know, but when does this stop? So, uh, and she's up and running today. This is from uh, January of 2018 when this came out. And uh, I have some empathy for her. I kind of feel sorry for her in this one. Now, now when she was on a Dr. Phil show, you, she was exhibiting signs of, a little bit, signs of um, mental illness. But it could have been frustration, too. When you send pizzas to someone's house, that is going in real life. No way to, no way to talk around that. In all these videos, I think these people are going real life and going real life. You've done it. In order to send pizzas to your house, that means you had to dox her address to put them there, to send them there. And sending CPS after people, Diane, that's going real life. Just going real life. If you're harassing this woman and you sent CPS to her house, we all know that the the, the harassing uh, the CPS was from the harassing part of it. You send you know, if you send CPS and then you guys associate with FOD who does that too. So and not only on me and it's, it's, it's TNT gonna say oh CPS deserve to go to Brian's house but he's a good dad get out of here get out of here. This is another woman right here who, now I feel sorry for her. And Jasmine brings stuff on herself, but, you know, if you know somebody is mentally ill, you kind of have to deal with them a different way. But Trisha seems, she seems uh, a little more intelligent. She's doing much better today than she was before when she got out of that marriage. But like I said, it's another woman that says the same type of stuff about Diane behind the scenes, making fake profiles. Claiming she's someone else. And Shonda said that uh, Diana claimed that she was her and wrote up stuff that on her. Made up fake profiles on her. This is another female that says the same thing. Hmm. They don't know each other. Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? Oh, hold on. I think I'm on to something here. Hold on. Hey, I think I, I could this could it be my life and my philosophy is the essence of prancer size. It's defined as a springy rhythmic movement forward, similar to a horse's gait, ideally induced by elation. It's more than fitness, it's a whole program, it's a philosophy. It, it encourages uh, conservation, it encourages vegetarianism, it encourages nonviolence. And I believe all those things can stem from the whole mindset that the program gives you. It started out, you know, with a very average number of hits, maybe 500 hits. Or so, and it started doubling every day. And uh, within a few days, it, you know, had gone viral. It was over a million hits, and then within the rest of that week with the Today Show appearance and um, other news appearances, it went, you know, to over three million and, uh, and it's, you know, done, gotten a lot of attention all over the world. <laughs> it goes across the age spectrums, it goes across the gender spectrums, it really is for everybody. And everybody's doing it, by the way.